Welcome to Solve It Like a Marketer. I'm Stephen Hobey. Today, we're going to be exploring marketing opportunities together. Don't go away. So the area of marketing is really quite expansive and there are so many different avenues you can pursue as a career path. So I thought it would be fun to do a video that outlines some of the areas that you might be interested in. Let's begin with marketing research. Now, marketing research, also known as market research, is any set of techniques used to gather information and better understand a company's target market or audience. Now, marketers and researchers may use techniques such as focus groups, surveys, interviews, or observations, just to name a few, to collect that data. Now, businesses then use this information to design better products, improve the user experience, and basically craft a marketing message that attracts existing and potential customers to buy their product or service. Next up is marketing brands. So brand name recognition is paramount in the realm of marketing. It's all about how the company's reputation is perceived by consumers. Can they trust the company behind the brand? So a strong brand or logo like McDonald's Golden Arches or Nike Swoosh conjure up a whole host of images and associations. And of course, companies want these associations to be positive not negative. It's also worth mentioning the term brand equity. Now, this describes a brand's value. So, for instance, uh, take Apple, the company. Their products are considered to have high brand equity, right? Uh, people really, really believe in those brands. Again, I should point out there is such a thing as negative brand equity. On to marketing services. So marketing a service can be more challenging than actually marketing a product. Here you are marketing the intangible. It isn't a washing machine. You're not marketing a desk or a car. You can't really touch a service. So the trick is to create uh, and promote a great customer experience. This will leave the consumer with a sense of satisfaction that they will hopefully share with friends or through social media. Retail marketing, very important. So retail marketing is the process of bringing a product directly to customers in a retail store. This is an incredible and diverse field depending on what kind of resource retail store that you're operating. So might be clothes, jewelry, or food. Good marketing comes down to the planning, promotion, and presentation of the product. Other factors might include ergonomic packaging, competitive pricing, and sales campaigns. Now here, the four Ps come into play, also known as the marketing mix, product, price, place, and promotion. I've done a video on this, so check that out for more. Socially responsible marketing. So social responsibility holds that businesses should be good citizens, balancing their money-making operations with activities that benefit society. Now, some examples might be recyclable packaging, promotions that spread awareness of societal issues and problems, and then directing portions of profits toward charitable groups. Here, there's basically a feeling that we're all in this together, both the company and customers or consumers, working collectively towards social good and to basically support the welfare of the overall community. Next up, this is a fun one, event marketing. So event marketing involves face-to-face -face contact between companies and their customers at special events like concerts, fairs, sporting events, and the list goes on. As a marketer, 
you are aiming towards coming up with creative ways to market the event and draw in those crowds. Event marketing isn't easy and tends to be quite labor intensive, but it can also be extremely rewarding working with teams of people to pull it off. It's worth noting that a successful event marketing campaign provides value to attendees beyond information about the product or service. For instance, it might be a discount, uh, free samples, charity alignment, or something fun and innovative where attendees feel that they're getting an extra benefit from attending. Finally, the big two, advertising and public relations. Advertising is a marketing tactic involving paying for space to promote a product, service, or cause. The actual promotional message, um, are, they're called advertisements or ads for short. Now, the goal of advertising is to reach people most likely to be willing to pay for a company's product or service, and then entice them to buy. Advertising can occur on traditional media. That would be, say, radio, TV, newspapers, um, and then on social media in blogs, online articles, etc. Now, in contrast to paid media, we have earned media. And this is where public relations comes in. Public relations professionals help a business or individual cultivate a positive reputation with the public through various earned communications. Now, their aim is to say have journalists take an interest in the company or organization that they represent and say conduct an interview or attend a press conference. Now, public relations specialists are in essence content creators. They write blogs, they contact article writers, they put out press releases, all in order to craft a narrative and engagement around the company or brand they represent. So as you can see, there are so many different areas in the world of marketing that you can focus on. And really, I've only just scratched the surface. Let's take, for example, event marketing. You can choose to work within, uh, say, the corporate or nonprofit sector. If you zoom in on nonprofit, you could choose to solely work in healthcare or maybe the sustainability sector and so on. So you can really go deep and specialize even further. There are also many really great marketing programs out there from full-time studies to continuing education courses where you can receive a degree or certificate upon completion. I highly suggest that you do some research and find one that fits with your interests. Sometimes they're more general in nature, covering all facets of marketing, while others focus on areas such as research or sustainability marketing. I truly believe that marketing is important now more than ever. As we live in a uh, basically a transitioning world, many firms and organizations are looking to pivot and engage. And it's up to us marketers to craft those messages. I also believe there is a place for ethical approaches in marketing. We need to push messages of sustainability, healthy minds, healthy body, rather than what I would term fast food marketing, both literally and figuratively. We don't live in the 1980s anymore where it was all about spend and consume. Customers are now slowly understanding that continuous consumption is not good for either people or planet. Again, it's up to marketers to think about these issues and help affect societal change for the better. If you'd like to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. You can also catch me on Instagram 
link below. So join the discussion. I will see you every week with a new video, so please stay tuned, and together, let's solve it like a marketer.